Let's make an anvil stand. Seriously, let's make a stand for this anvil. A while back, Vivor sent me this anvil to do a review on. I'll leave a link to the video down in the description if you'd like to see that. But I need to make a stand for it. Now, there's a lot of ways I can go about this. We can go out and cut a piece off of an old tree. And that works great. And it's probably the oldest anvil stand there is, is a chunk of wood. The problem that I have with them is that they dry out and crack over time. They seem to get lighter. And there's some things you can do about that. You can seal it up and keep it from cracking, but it's still gonna dry out. But if you got a big enough piece, you know, it'll still be pretty heavy. Or you can take some four by fours, like I did for this anvil right here, and make a pretty nice anvil stand. Of course, it did dry up and get lighter, but it's still a nice stand and it's pretty good size. But I prefer a stand like this, one made out of steel and especially with three legs. It balances easily, and you can add as much steel as you want to it. So for this anvil, I'm gonna make one like that. It'll be about the size of this anvil. I'll make it a little bit bigger so I can put some brackets on here to hang tools, hammers, that sort of thing. I've got some scrap steel laying around the shop. I like to use that stuff when I can. Anyway, I get this thing measured, start cutting pieces, and get to making the stand.
As you can see, I decided to go with four legs on this stand. I like the three-legged stand because it'll level out anywhere you put it. But because of the mounting holes on this anvil, I had to put four legs on there. Now I could have come down a ways and then transition back to one leg, but that's just too much work for this. So I decided to just go with four legs. Now, if I do have an issue where it doesn't level out on the floor, I could just raise it up, grind a little off of one of the high legs, set it back down, until I get a good level surface. And another reason why I like the steel stands, like I said, is for the weight. And the more weight you have, the better, especially for a small anvil like this one. A heavier mounting plate, more steel, just makes a robust anvil stand. And it gives you something good to work with. You doesn't have it moving all around, that sort of thing. Anyway, I hope there's something here you saw that gives you some ideas or helped you in some kind of way. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.